Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my university's um, service animal agreement for housing and why we are struggling with it right now. So at the beginning of every year, the university housing has us sign an agreement just stating we're going to take care of our animals and make sure they're properly fed and go potty and groomed and yada yada yada. Just um, that they're not responsible. Yeah, they're just making sure that we know that they're not responsible for our animals, which is stupid. They're not responsible. You should be responsible for your own animal. But anyways, in the past, I didn't know that much about the ADA, so I usually signed it just the way it was. But this year, I was just reading through it, and I was like, uh-oh, I don't like how this is worded. And per the ADA, I don't really think that's allowed. So... I'm going to insert a little picture of the wording right here. It's, what was it? Okay, so I pulled it up and basically what it says is one of the lines states that I understand service animals are only allowed in areas of campus where domesticated animals are permitted. Please reference state law um, section 18.08-1. Um, so this is a big issue, the way that's worded, because when they refer to domestic animals, they are referring to pets. And, oh, my dog trainer, dog trainer question. Are pets allowed in campus buildings? No, they're not allowed on campus at all. Did you see that time where my service dog got attacked because of a pet on campus? Yeah. I, Did you well, watch that video? It. No, I didn't watch it. Well, <laughs> it's up in the high card. Check it out. You should because there was a pet on campus and it attacked Toby and it was... That's a huge issue because service animals are allowed in other places of campus where pets are not. So... Because of this, I was immediately like, I don't want to sign this. I don't want my rights to be taken away. I don't want the university to all be a sudden like, you signed this, and so now your service dog can't work anymore or can't live here, and that's just not good. Um, so we reached out to the complex director. A complex director is basically, if, if you're not in college yet um, or don't know what it is, a complex director is the person who runs your door. They're like the director of it, the director of the dorm. So we emailed the director and just like n nicely said, we said, hey, look, this is the wording that we're concerned with. Um, we stated the university policy that states that there are certain places where ser service animals are not allowed. Such as like labs. Such as like labs, um, utility rooms, animal research facilities. I don't know if we have those on we campus. We don't have any on campus. But um, just certain places where like it makes sense. So like in the ADA, it even states that service animals are not allowed in places like, you know, allergen free housing. You know, like if somebody has a dog allergy, um, allergen free housing, that kind of stuff. You know, places that it would fundamentally alter um, what's being done at that location. Or somewhere that's doing like hazardous activities. Um, like sometimes a chemistry lab, although they're they're getting a lot better about letting service dogs in labs. Um, yeah, because the thing is, is if, like let's say that someone with a service dog were to try and take a chemistry class that had a lab, they wouldn't be able to take it because they wouldn't be able to bring their dog into the lab. Right. So. so we just stated that and we tried to say, you know, maybe you're referring to ESAs because this is probably also signed by ESAs. This is also signed by ESA handbooks. So, um, and this would be frustrating because it would prevent us from working our dogs and basically living in our dorms. So we um, reached out to our complex director, again, who's the director of the dorm, and we received no answer. We waited a week. Yep, it's been a little bit over a week now. It's been a little bit over a week now, but we waited a week and we didn't hear anything back from the complex director. Um, oh my god! I hate when that happens. Actually, it's almost been two weeks. So, basically, 
Um, this form was due on September 25th and neither of us signed it because <laughs> we were like, we're not going to um, risk our dogs being able to live here. Um, so when I didn't receive anything back from the complex director, I emailed um, our campus's Center for Students with Disabilities, which is the place where we get all our accommodations. So basically in this email, I even elaborated further. I said, hey, I looked at this stature, the, the Wisconsin um, law that is in this agreement that um, section 18.808, um, and we'll just insert it right here. When you look at that law, it says that this um, that that section of the law does not include police, canines, or service animals. So immediately, that even sent up more red flags for me because I guess it's slightly frustrating that housing would make a service animal policy and then state law that doesn't even apply. Because because theoretically, if they're making um, an agreement for a service dog handler, it should be everything about service dogs, not just saying, oh, your pet can't do this. Like, you have to have two separate forms for this, otherwise handlers get really confused and they get defensive. Because why wouldn't I? So the good news is, is that our Center for Students Disabilities, um, my coordinator reached back out to me to let me know that the director of the center is actively trying to fix the situation, which is good. Um, but this is just, an imp I think, an important lesson. This is an important lesson to share with um, everyone because I think, I think the important lesson to be learned here is that um, as scary as it is, you can advocate for yourself and your dog at college. Always read everything that you're about to sign. Read everything you're about to sign. Know, know your rights and um, yeah, don't be afraid to bother people because I bothered that complex director and he didn't answer, so I took it higher than him. Don't be afraid to go higher. Um, because higher, somebody has to fix it. Somebody has to fix this because technically it is against the ADA at this point, right? Yeah, it's against the ADA for them to require us to sign that. Right. So they're breaking the ADA and um, we need this fixed. So yeah, we'll let, we'll let y'all know how that goes. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, that's where I update the most. Um, follow us there. You might see a little bit of a um, conclusion to the story there. Um, dog trainer, how do you feel about the situation? Quit my whining. You said, how do I feel about the situation? Yeah, how do you feel about it? So with this situation, um, I think the biggest thing that makes me nervous is just that people have already signed this. So some people have already signed their rights away to use their service dog on campus or to have their service dog living with them. I can't imagine how horrible that must be. Um, so I really hope that they get this figured out soon so that no one is worried about that or no one has that happening. And I guess my, my fear was that like, if we didn't sign it in time, that the complex director would just kick us off campus. Right, but they can't do that. They can't? No. Nope. Well, he's being a jerk. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I decide to share whatever I'm doing with my life. <laughs> okay, bye.